industrial internet right now is hitting at a time when all types of industrial businesses really need it to figure out how to get productivity back. If you think about what's happened over the last several decades, first we had a massive amount of emphasis around lean production and Six Sigma, and that really helped us drive inefficiency out of all the processes we were running. That's run its course, as is the second major piece of work around using things like ERP to get better integrated on technology and help drive efficiency within our businesses and our full operations. Would those two things be coming standard now and relatively saturated in the amount of efficiency we can drive? Over the last decade, we've only seen about 1% efficiency improvements in industrial companies. And so there's no more opportunity to rely on the methods that were used in the past to get more efficiency. If we want to get productivity around for all types of companies, they have to try something different and the industrial internet is it. Taking advantage of the industrial internet doesn't just involve doing the same things you were doing a little bit better, it actually involves rethinking the way you run your industrial business and, and how things are gonna tie out uh, into the way you operate, how you look at your assets, how you instrument the whole environments and the spaces that there, they exist, how you run your business operations and even change business models. And so this is requiring real leadership coming out of industrial companies. And we're starting to see those forward thinking companies that wanna lead the industry and get the most advantage taking advantage of that right now. And they're already going in to do the projects, many of what you've seen here at Minds and Machines. Uh, and we're starting to see them show the world where the opportunities are so that they can come follow. I think industrial businesses are ready for this. They know how to work with data. They know how to work with information. What they need to be doing now is taking those leadership positions to showcase what's possible and really drive the industry forward for them. As we think about a roadmap for transformation in the industrial internet, industrial businesses are different from businesses like banks or retailers in that we tend to have very complicated physical assets that are the foundation of what we run in our business. So the way that I always think about this, this roadmap is starting with your actual assets. How do you understand them? How do you get data from them? How do you predict how they're working and, and make them optimize? From there, you go from an individual asset into the whole environment that it's in. So I could go from a piece of manufacturing equipment to the entire plant, or I could go from a power turbine to a power plant, or you could be thinking a locomotive all the way across the rail network. And so how do we start to understand what's happening across that network? What's the environmental concerns? What's the level of efficiency that's happening? Once we have the asset and the environment both instrumented and we have data from them, now we can start to take on our, our operations. How do we want to actually run our business processes across those environments and into those assets to take control and become more effective? And then last but not least, when you have those processes done, you understand your levels of risk, you understand where your efficiencies are, you can start having the types of guarantees that allow you to change business models for your customers. So I would always follow that sort of four steps. Look at the core assets, expand it into the environments, look at the operations, and then finally think about how that transforms business models.